This little flow chart is one of the biggest reasons why I was able to achieve over 225 active SaaS customers with my Go High Level Reputation Management Agency. If you don't know who I am, my name is Clay Lawrence. I make about $23,000 every month just helping local business owners get Google reviews. The name of the company is Review Harvest. You can see I actually do this. This is legit. And what I do is I use a software called High Level and I white label it with my own branding and then sell it to local business owners to help automate the process of them requesting reviews. And one of the benefits or one of the features that we add on is that we help turn all of their five-star reviews into social media content automatically so they don't have to do a thing. To show you an example of that, here's one of our clients' social media review posts. You can see they got a five-star review. It put on this pretty template. It automatically posted it to their Facebook, their Instagram, their stories. And the best part is, is that I did not have to lift a finger. And now when this is posted on their Facebook, they think of Review Harvest, they think of us as providing that value and turning those reviews into posts for them. And so this flow chart explains exactly how this works. If you follow along today, I'll show you exactly how to set this up in high level so that every time your clients get a Google review or a Facebook review, you can automatically turn that review into content and post it across all their social media platforms without lifting a finger. Okay, so step one is we need to connect the review source. So the review source is where are we even pulling these reviews that we're turning into posts from? Okay, so if we navigate into your high level sub account, if you click on this launch pad icon, on the launch pad, you'll see the option to connect a Google business profile. And so when you connect the Google business profile here by clicking on connect and logging in with your Google account, when you connect it there, it is gonna serve as the Google review source. So this is gonna serve as kind of the source that we're pulling all these five-star reviews from to at least then turn into social media content. So important thing to note is that if you go to marketing and you go to social planner, we're about to do the rest of the process. If you connect the Google business profile right here, that's not going to connect it as the source. It's a different sort of access. When you're connecting through the launch pad, you're asking for kind of more privileges to have access to more features that to the, the Google business profile that you're connected. I know that's kind of a mouthful, but if you see here, like we click on connect and then we're log in with the Google, with login with an email, we continue. Look at all of the permissions that it's asking for. See, edit and create, delete your Google ads, edit and create your listings, a, a whole bunch of stuff. And so when you're connecting as a source, you're getting a lot more permissions from Google to connect. So when you click on allow, then after you click on allow, it's gonna pop up with a page to connect your Google business profile. So you can see right here, it said pop up blocked up on the URL up here at the top. And so we wanna click on this pop up blocked and we want to say always allow pop ups. And then we probably just have to refresh the page. And so it can be high level can be a little bit finicky when it comes to connecting your Google business profiles. So we just walk through this process again, click on connect. Now it's gonna take us to the GMB page select where we can just click on the checkbox next to the business. You can just click on the checkbox next to this business. You can keep call tracking off and you can click on connect. And you wanna confirm the selected pages. And from there, now we've connected the review source. So now we have the source connected, but we're still gonna to have to connect all of the accounts down here for the actual distribution. And you can see it doesn't say it's connected here, but if you wanna check and make sure it's connected, click on reputation, then click on settings. And you can see that the reviews are already pulling in, they're there. But if you don't have any reviews, you click on review link click on Google and you can just make sure you can select the page. So you can see that reviews are actually pulling through and your Google business profile is connected. If you'd like to connect your Facebook account as the source, so if you get a review on Facebook and you wanna turn that into social media content, you can go to settings, go to integrations, and then you can connect your Facebook and Instagram from right here. It's gonna be a similar process as connecting your Google business profile, but you just click on connect here. All right, so now that we've connected the source, we've done that, what we wanna do is we want to create the content that we're gonna to use to post these reviews. So what I have here in Canva is just some example templates that we've used in the past. These templates are 1024 by 1024, and basically what we're doing is we're creating a custom background for all these review posts. The link to these Canva templates are in the school community, so any of my high-level affiliates, anyone that signs up with the link down below in the description, and to get started with high-level or upgrades their plan, or just signs up directly to school, will get access to these Canva templates, and you'll also obviously get access to all my snapshots, my training, step-by-step -step how to set everything up, and then also up to three coaching calls per week, where I'll hop on a call with you and meet you exactly where you are and answer any questions. So you haven't already, feel free to sign up or upgrade with my link down below in the description. But you can see in Canva, as long as these templates are 1024 by 1024, you'll be able to upload them. And what you wanna do is you wanna honestly like go find one of these posts on Facebook and like screenshot it and figure out the dimensions of this little box here if you don't have my 
if you don't have my template, if you have my Canva template, then you won't need to do this because I kind of have this already in here so you can see how big it is. But then from there, you can kind of play around with it and see how it looks. So you obviously, you don't want to keep these kind of reviewed things on it. That's just to kind of gauge where it's going to go and how it's going to look. But you can do a lot of cool things with these templates. So one thing that you can do is you can create like a background and a border around it and then you can add some text and then you can put like a client's logo here. You can see that's just an example of that. Or what you can do is you can just keep it really basic, just do like a plain color and then their logo at the bottom or something cool like this. You can get really creative with it, like adding these borders and stuff, but the main thing that you don't have any flexibility with is that that review is going smack dab in the middle and it's going in this box. We can make we can turn the opacity in this box all the way down to make it see-through. We can change the size of the font, we can change the font color and all the colors on this box and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's going right there smack dab in the middle. And so basically we just want to design some creative stuff that still looks good with the review in the middle with a background photo or stuff like that. So here's just some example templates that I've used in the past. And so now that you actually have these, now we want to go ahead and create the automation in high level, which is actually super easy to automatically post all these five star reviews. All right, so we want to navigate back to our high level sub account. We want to go to marketing and we want to make sure we're in the social planner tab. And so from here, what we need to do is we need to connect all the social media accounts that we want to post these five star reviews on. So to do that, you just have to click on connect Facebook. An important thing to note is it's going to prompt you to log in through your personal Facebook page, okay? So it's not gonna take you too directly to the business, and this is the same thing to know when you're onboarding. So like, this would be your client coming through, your client would be coming on and clicking on Connect Facebook when you're on that onboarding call, and it's gonna say continue as their name. It's not gonna say continue as their business. The reason why it's like that is because in Facebook, you have your personal pages, and business pages are attached to that personal page. And so you have to continue as the personal page, and then it'll prompt you to add the business page. So you see I continue as Clay, and when we go back, and now I can scroll through and add a business page. So I can scroll through all my businesses here, and I can add a business page. So after you add your business page here, you can click on X, and you can do the same thing for Instagram. So Instagram's gonna go through Facebook as well, and so if your Instagram and Facebook aren't connected, you're gonna have to connect that. And honestly, on an onboarding call, it's totally not worth it trying to help a business owner figure that out. Just let them come back to it if they want to. Then you can see you can add your Instagram page. Once again, it has to be a business or a creator account that's connected to your Facebook page for you to add it here. So click on add, and then you can X out of that. And then I know it feels like we've already connected your Google business profile, but if you wanna add these to your Google business profile as post, then you'll have to still connect it. So let me show you an example. So you can see my Google business profile here. If you scroll down, you can see these updates. And so these updates are these posts. And so if you wanna have access to post these updates on a Google business profile, you have to come in here and reconnect the Google business profile again. So go through the same process of connecting that you went through previously. So you can see now we can add that Google business profile here and now this is connected as well. And once you have all of that connected, you can click on get started. And so what I normally do on an onboarding call, all I ask them to do is just connect their profiles because that's what we need them for. And then we create the social media content and all that stuff after the fact and create this automation. And if ever you need to come in and disconnect an account or reconnect an account, now if you want to do that, you need to come and click on this drop down right here, click on new account, and then you can connect a new account from here. You can also click on settings here and remove any accounts you have or connect new ones. All right, so now, how do you actually create this posting automation so that every time you're getting a review, you can post it on their social media? Well, you click on new post right here. You click on post reviews. You select the source. So this is what I was talking about here where we can either connect Google or Facebook as the review source. So you connect the source. So we're gonna just do Google now. We obviously only wanna post five-star reviews. And then we wanna connect social media accounts. So you can just check all of these. You can check one, whatever you wanna do. These are the accounts we're gonna make the social media posts on. You can change the number of posts you want and you can schedule them for every week on a certain day of the week. And if you wanna come in and say post on Monday and Friday, you just have to walk through this process twice and do one for every week on Mondays and another one for every week on Fridays. So it's a little clunky there, but you can still make it happen. And then if you wanna post it on the Instagram story and Facebook story, you can do that as well. And we'll click on next. And here's where we can add the custom background images. So they have these default templates that you can use. They look fine, not great. So I like to add a custom image. So we click on add image. Just choose an example I was using earlier from Canva. And we can go to next. You can add as many as you want to here. Next, and now we have the preview. 
And so if you don't enter anything in the caption, it's just gonna pull the caption from the review. It's the caption is just gonna be exactly what the review said. But you can say, you know, you can just say thanks for another five star review, whatever you wanna say there. For compliance stuff and like privacy, if you want to not show their name, you don't have to. You can only do the initials or you can do their full name, it's up to you. And you can change the font and stuff here. So we can change this font to whatever you like. You can change the font size. One thing to note is that if the review is really long, it's just gonna truncate it. So it's not gonna like make the text auto size it and fit. It's gonna truncate the text so it's not fully listed there. And one thing to note too is that if it's a short review, you might, you might be able to barely see it. So you kinda wanna find the happy medium. I've talked to them at high level and hopefully they are going to start to auto size the text. So I wanna have that as a feature where basically if it's a long review, it makes the text bigger. If it's a short review, it makes the text a lot smaller. They said they could add that, so hopefully they'll do it. And then you can see here, you can change the color of the font if you want it to be red or if you want it to be blue. And you can click on the placeholder box color here and you can change the color of the box and you can also change the opacity of the box. So if you wanna make the box clear, not even show at all, boom, you can just turn the opacity all the way down. If you want to be able to change the color, you can just move this around to change the color to whatever you want to. So we can make this really ugly. <laughs> but yeah, you can play around with it, just whatever you like. And then same thing with the star color. If you wanna change the star color to green or whatever, you can make that happen. And then you can just go ahead and create the post. And so when you create the post, it's not gonna just start posting them right away. You're gonna to have to wait for a review to come in and then the schedule that you created on that cadence to actually be posted. But now if you wanna come and edit this or turn it on or off, you're gonna originally be in the planner, so you wanna click on content, content, and then click on review, and then you can turn this on or off, you can pause the post, you can also delete it or edit it from there. So that's exactly how we turn all of our clients' five-star reviews into social media content so that we're providing value for them on a weekly basis and every time they log into their Facebook or their Instagram, they're like, oh yeah, Review Harvest is still helping us, they're still doing a good job, we still wanna keep paying them. So if you've watched this video all the way through the end, you're probably interested in getting started to go high level and making some semi-passive income. If that is you, there's no better place for you to be than the High Level House. Anyone who signs up to High Level with my affiliate link down below in the description will get access to this community for free, just as a thank you from me for signing up and using my link. In this community, we have over 600 members doing the same exact thing, trying to make some semi-passive income using High Level. And so we're all learning from each other, we're all growing. And then also you'll hop on up to three coaching calls with me a week, where I will meet you exactly where you are and answer any questions. And then you get access to all of my courses where I go over exactly how I do everything that I do for Review Harvest. I don't really hold anything back whatsoever. You get onboarding call recordings, sales call recordings, A to Z setup, so you can go from zero to hero pretty quickly. If you wanna see how I make about $22,000 per month just helping local business owners get Google reviews, check out this next video. I think you'll like it.